Yo guys, welcome back to Crypto Alert, and yes, you've read the title correctly. In this video, I'll be going through the BitKeep wallet. I'll give you a full overview of the wallet, a tutorial on how to use it, and not only that, give you my thoughts on why I'm starting to use the BitKeep wallet instead of MetaMask, Phantom, and so on. A big shout out to the team behind BitKeep for sponsoring this video. Them reaching out to me brought some light onto their wallet and actually helped me on board on them and actually really like it. Of course, if you want to find out on why I'm liking the wallet, just stick about in this video. A big shout out to them. Also, I will leave a referral link for you guys to sign up into the Chrome extension or the app down below. It'll be the first link down below. It will be a referral link, so feel free to use it or not. Now, before we actually get into it, I've got to tell you about the BitKeep team and the big announcement with the fact they are converging the power with the Polygon Warriors. Now, the Polygon Warriors is an upcoming NFT project in the Matic chain, and not only that, it's going to be the first NFT that supports reverse minting. Now, the BitKeep team are supporting this NFT project. And some quick bits of info is you'll be able to mint it from May 15th, now you can mint it for 1000 Matic and it is fully fundable 100 days after the official launch of the Polygon contents which will be in May and only that Polygon Warriors is the first demonstrative profile picture NFT on Polygon that integrates social fi so what that means you'll be able to view it in your social media we've seen this on twitter recently and this is going to be one of the first ones within matic which is huge and the bitkeep team have partnered up with them and before we go any further i need to tell you about some impressive stats about the bitkeep wallet first of all they have verified over 200k followers they have been around for a while they aren't a new wallet these guys know what they're doing they're actually the biggest crypto wallet all over asia so that's massive now they have over 500 million users or 45,000 tokens that you are able to purchase and trade in 40 different mainnet chains, whether that's the AVAX chain, the Binance Smart chain, the ERC20 chain, the list keeps on going. And they also are supported by DeFi and over 8,000 plus decentralized applications. Now I am hoping that has built a lot of trust already because these guys have been around for a while. They know what they're doing biggest wallet in Asia and they are starting to be used in places like Europe and America. Now, how do you actually download BitKeep? Now first of all there will be a referral link down below for you guys to actually get the app and also the Chrome extension. Now that is a referral link feel free to use it or you can just search it up on Google but it will be in the first link in the description. Any support will be much really appreciated. First of all I will go through the Chrome extension showing you how to download it and how to set it up. And after that, I'll show you the app. Now for the Chrome extension, you can just go over, click on the link right here, and it should take you to this page. You can click add to Chrome, and you can click add extension. Now setting up the wallet isn't too hard. You should have your um, wallet up here as a Chrome extension. You can import your wallet if you already have your private key, or you can actually create a new wallet. To create a new wallet, just choose different mainnets you want to include. Now I mainly use the EOC20, Banner Smart Chain, Polygon, Sol, Luna, Evax, I'll take that off and Phantom, we click next step, here you get your mnemonic code, now this is going to be a 12 word seed phrase, which is basically a private um, 12 word phrase, which you need to keep safe, do not take a photo, do not screenshot it, do not have it down anywhere digitally, instead write it down in a piece of paper and keep it safe, whatever you need to do, but in this case I'm just going to show it as this is a test wallet just for the video, we got all the different words, I'm going to quickly write that down. I've just backed it up, I'm going to click I have backed up and right here you will need to confirm you have saved, um, written down basically your mnemonic code, your seed phrase. So my second word was actually older and my ninth word was normal. I'm going to click on next step and that should be good. Now we got enter a wallet password, this is just the password you want to have in your wallet, make sure it's 8 digits. I'm going to quickly do this, verify the password, then you want to enter your wallet name, I'm going to call it test wallet, you can call it whatever you want so you can recognize your wallet, then I'm going to click confirm and then we'll import all your main chains, so we got AVAX, BNB, Ethereum, F FTM, Luna, Matic and so. Now I'll quickly show you how to send and receive different coins. So let's say I want to receive BNB right now. I'll click on BNB, received. I'll get my address right here. So if anyone wants to pay you BNB or deposit some BNB, copy this and send it to them. You receive your BNB right here. Let's say now you want to send BNB. Click on send. Put the address you want to withdraw to. 
put the amount, let's say if it's 2 BNB for example, here you can customize how fast you want your transaction. The faster you want it, the more you will need to pay of course, but obviously the BNB fees are really low and you can actually just send it over, click next step and send it. Now this is probably one of my favorite things about this wallet. These guys have bridging built into their wallet. So pretty much what you can do is go over to swap right here and you can swap between different networks. So let's say right now you got a bunch of Ethereum in the Ethereum mainnet. You're trying to sell it, you're trying to withdraw it, but the gas fees are killing you. The gas fees might be really high, transactions maybe not going through. Whatever the problem is, you can actually come up here, swap, so you can go to Ethereum mainnet. Or let's say you want to withdraw one um, Ethereum. You can actually see here, select a different network, Binance Smart Chain, choose a coin. Let's go with USDT. And right here, you would get 3,000 USDT in the Binance Smart Chain um, from your Ethereum mainnet, saving on a whole lot of gas fees. So for anyone that's flipping NFTs or sort of minting a lot of Ethereum NFTs, this is definitely a shout for you guys to look into because I know gas fees can be really painful. Now, obviously, you can see different things like right here, you can choose other networks you would like to add. Or even up here, you can go ahead and click on Test Wallet and add different wallets. Switch between wallets right here, really easy and compact. Again, this is massive. You're able to see your NFTs, add them over here, keep track of them. And not only that, in the app, which I'm about to get into in a second, you're actually able to purchase the NFTs directly from the app, from OpenSea. They've got a really cool integration. I'll get to that in a second. Now again, guys, I'll leave a link to the BitKeep wallet app in the description down below. Keep in mind, it is a referral link. Feel free to use your own link. It doesn't really matter. If you want to support me, feel free to use it. Now it is available on Android and iOS. I checked the reviews, it's four and a half star, really, really renowned. But let me now show you on how it works. Now onboarding to the app is actually really similar on when you signed up and made your wallet in the BitKeep extension. So pretty much what you do, you download the app on iOS and Android. You can either create a new wallet or import a wallet. To import a wallet, you will need your seed phrase that they tell you to write down. Again, do not save it anywhere in your computer or take a photo or screenshot. If you get hacked, your wallet, you will lose it. You will lose all your funds, so do not do that. Keep it written down somewhere. Keep it nice and safe. That's what I do. Now, let's say you're creating a new wallet on the app. You create a new wallet similar to before. You're going to choose your different main chains, Banner Smart Chain, Solana Chain, and so on. To receive and send tokens, again, extremely similar to before. The layout is actually really similar, but it's just much more smooth and just, you know, much cleaner because you got it up in your phone. Now, as you get into your wallet, you will see all the different chains and all the different coins available. You'll also see a tab for NFTs if you got any NFTs added. You also have a swap tab where you're able to swap different currencies and actually and you also have the chance to bridge them. There is also an NFT market where again, you can actually purchase NFTs directly from there. There's OpenSea basically integrated where you're able to purchase different NFTs using your BitKeep wallet. And you got a tab to browse and discover different cryptocurrencies, decentralized applications and so on. And that brings me to the end of this video. And to be dead honest with you, I am going to be starting to use BitKeep a lot more simply because of the fact I'm able to bridge my Ethereum into a different network and not worry about gas fees. And gas fees, especially when minting and you know flipping NFTs in Ethereum, it can get pretty hefty. But that brings me to the end of it. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Big shout out to the BitKeep team for sponsoring this video and peace.